Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from the Elk City Sale Barn where producers are forced to make some tough decisions the past couple of weeks and they're certainly not alone. The sheer volume of cattle that are coming through sale barns in this region has been overwhelming at times and that's why SUNUP is devoting some extra time to covering the drought. We begin today with our Dave Deacon. On August 4th, 2011, this became the driest place in all of the state of Oklahoma, and one of the driest places in the country, when this mesonet station in Altus reached 800 on the drought index. That's never happened before, so we went to the experts to find out what is drought. In essence, it means a lack of precipitation and a lack of available water for whatever purpose is needed. The drought monitor uses an intensity scale. It goes from D0, which is abnormally dry, to D4, which is exceptional drought. What D4 really means, it's, it's really a one or a two and 50 year event. Really the worst droughts in history would be labeled as D4. And again, those impacts reflect how different people view drought. And in western and southwestern Oklahoma, especially near Hollis, Altus, and Grandfield, they view drought through the lens of agriculture. And while we're talking about Granfield, they just reached 100 degrees for the 90th time this year. That's not something you celebrate. That's something that you tell future generations about. And that's got many wondering, did anybody see this drought coming? Just like a flash flood, a flash drought is a drought that occurs very rapidly. And so that was the beginning of the dry. It's a vicious cycle. The heat amplifies the drought, the drought amplifies the heat. And that is the double punch that knocked the wind out of so many producers in Oklahoma. There's no moisture and usually we have soil moisture so they can draw from that in between rain events. But we don't even have that. So now we're trying to produce plants from one rain event to the next, but we don't have any rain either. So no soil moisture is a buffer or you might think of it as a water bank and no rain coming. Speaking of water banks, we are in an irrigation ditch. I mean, look at it, there's, there's cracks in the soil. This, this is drought in Southwest Oklahoma. This is drought and normally this irrigation ditch would have water running through it. Uh, back there, uh, that would be opened up and water would be running to the fields, but not this year. Altus Luger Lake is so low that they can't even put water out to irrigate the crops. Oddly enough, the drought has been kind of like a ripple in a pond. The green fields that producers were looking for turned out to be brown and dying. And that has strained the next in line, the cattle industry. Yeah, and the livestock is even a more long-term situation because while we don't have any crops this summer and there's a loss there, there's always the hope that you can get in a fall crop, but on livestock, we didn't have any hay production last year. This summer, none. Going into fall, no more hay production. So ranchers are having to get rid of their animals, and that means that they do not have the mama cows there to produce calves. So now they're, they've sold off the breeding production uh, for their livestock, and they're not gonna be able to continue to keep the herd going. The clouds that pass through western and southwestern Oklahoma will open up as they tour eastward, and they will finally bring rain, but it turns out even rain can be problematic. One of the things we need to remember with extreme drought is that ground is baked hard. So any type of rainfall that's of an intense nature, which we get in Oklahoma because we get a lot of convection, it can lead to a lot of flash flooding and a lot of erosion as well. Gary says that you probably still have plenty of time to build your ark. One of the things we're concerned about is there's just an inkling in the, uh, the sea surface temperature models of a possible return this winter of La Nina. Now that's not a death sentence for uh, a wet winter. It's just sort of an indication we might have another dry winter occur. Generations of Okies have made it through drought, and we will too. But only time will tell if we refer to this one as the drought of 2011, or if we have to add a hyphen and a 12 at the end of it.